concepts you can use for a headlock attack. If somebody puts you in a headlock, probably the two things you can expect are they will either take you from the headlock and twist your head to get you down to the ground, or what's probably more common in a Street Fighter attack, they will start with the headlock to put your head low and then they will let go and swing at you in this direction. So we're going to address how you defend from the headlock, uh, what's going on. One of the ways in which a person will try to get you into a headlock is they, will, they need to get your head in range where they can grab around your head. So more than likely what they will do is grab and pull your arm and put you into a headlock. Early enough, you can slip the lock. So we grab the pull, I can slip the lock, which puts me in a good position behind them. Okay, these are some defense concepts you can use. Practice that, but use these defense concepts in case of uh, he actually gets the attachment. So when he goes and he puts me into the headlock, first thing I'm going to try to do is step so that my back leg is behind his knee. Now I'm going to bring my hand up in case he decides to throw punches. This will give me a little bit of protection in time. One thing I can do to straighten him up a bit is take with this hand and roll and pinch his uh, skin on the opposite side. That will get his attention over here, at which point I can start kneeing and elbowing to get distance. Now I have space in here in which I can slip out. So that's one of the approaches you can take against a headlock. Another thing that you might try is he gets you into the headlock, and I'm here, and I knee, and I elbow, I get enough space to get this arm out here. Once I do, I can grab into an eye socket, under his nose, get, get under his chin, where you have a lot of leverage. The nose is nice because there's a lot of nerves that make it very painful when you grab and pull under the nose. 